Hello, so we are at section four of our AMC 2019 paper. As we know, this is the last section, 26 to 30. There are five questions and these are the most difficult or challenging questions of the paper. And the mark, the mark scheme is question number 26 is six marks, question number 27 is seven marks, question number 28 is eight marks, 29 is nine marks, and the last 30th question is supposed to be the most difficult one worth 10 marks. So these are quite tricky questions, so be ready to engage all your mathematical knowledge and try from these different perspectives. Let's have a look at question number 26. At my local green grocer, you take a ticket from the machine and wait until your number is called. The roll of tickets goes from 000 to 999, so that means three digit numbers. When I was there last week with my neighbor, we took two tickets in a row and our numbers were added to 777. What was the next ticket number after hours? Sorry. All right. So we know there are two tickets. We know there are three digit numbers and we know they are consecutive numbers. So because we got our numbers one after another and they add to 777. Now this can take a while, but let's uh, let's just think about it. So there is my ticket and my neighbor's ticket and they are consecutive numbers. So whatever my number is, the next number is plus one. And we know when you add these two numbers, two ticket numbers, it should be 777. Now this can be tricky to find, but what if I think about the number, if I forget about the plus one and I assume that both the tickets have the same number. So I'm just thinking, letting go of plus one for a while. So it should be se seven, seven, six, because I've just let go of that plus one there. And now it's easy to find what should be the number on each of the tickets. It's seven, seven, six divided by two. And that is you are allowed to use calculators here, so you can use your bus stop method or a calculator and the answer is 388. So if both the tickets were same, it should be 388 for both the tickets and our addition would be 776. But this is not the situation. Our question was consecutive numbers, so that's easy now. The first number still stays the same. The next number, it becomes, let me rub this out, is plus one three eight nine and that's how the addition goes to seven 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 so those are the two numbers that we found but remember to read the whole question you can always cross check the answers add up these two numbers and you get seven 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 so i do recommend you to you know once you get the answer reread the question and cross examine your answers just to be very very sure now the question they're asking is what was the next ticket number after hours So we got 388, 389, so the ticket after hours would be 390. That would be the ticket number that will, that will be given to the next person who comes after us. So make sure you read the question very carefully because these questions tend to be very tricky. All right, question number 27. There are 390 children at a summer camp. One third of the number of girls is equal to ha one half of the number of boys. How many girls are there? So we know the total number of students in the camp. Uh, now we have to think about, we know one third of the number of girls is, is that is equal to one half of the number of boys. So think about it, who are more, girls or boys? Now if you know fractions really well, you will understand because one third of the girls is able to equate to how and half of the boys. So that means the number of girls are more. Let's make this point more clearer by using a bar model. Let's draw our bar model. All right, here is all my students. So there are 390 students in all. All right, so there are a section of girls and a section of boys. So let me mark it. So these are girls, these are boys, G for girls, B for boys. And now, as I said in the question, one third of the number of girls. So let me try to split it into three equal parts. Oh, that doesn't seem correct, so let me redraw it. 
three equal parts. So that's one third. We are talking about one portion of it. So let me color it. So one third of the girls. This is one third of the girls. Let me mark the this carefully so you can see where are girls, where are boys. So this is equals to half of the boys. So let me color that too. So one third of the girls is ha equals to half of the boys. And actually these diagrams really help us because we know girls were equal, that was one third. So those two portions are equal to the first portion. And in the boys that was half. So the other portion is also equal. So actually our 390 students are divided into five equal parts. Now you can use your calculator to work out the calculation or just use a bus stop method. 390 divided into five equal parts and the answer is 78. So that means each little group is 78. Let me write it down. Now, as, as the question is asking us how many girls are there, so we have to just focus on the number of girls. So there are three groups of 78. So 78 multiplied by three, and the answer is 234. 234 girls are there. And of course, to just to make it very short, if you want to count the number of boys, you can go, go two groups of 78, find out the answer, what, add the number of boys and girls, and it should be 390. It's always a good idea to check your answer so that you're super, super sure. All right, they will add up to 390. All right, let's go to the next question, question number 28. How many of the numbers from 100 to 999 have exactly one zero digit? Now, this is a tricky question it might seem easy but it's very tricky uh, because they're asking for numbers they're all three digit numbers and they should have exactly one zero digit so that means numbers like 100 and 200 which have two zero digits one zero zero two zero zero will not count all right and uh, because it's a lot of numbers so we'll take it in sections to count the number of how many numbers are there with exactly one zero digit so for the first one less the batch we are taking is 100 209 let's take this small batch so of course 100 is not counted 101 102 103 104 105 106 107 108 so there are nine numbers which have exactly one zero digit let me write it down there are nine numbers in this section all right let's mark our next section 110, 219. Now, if you'll notice in this section, there's actually one number only which has one zero digit, and that's the number 110. Other digits, 111, 112, 113, do not have a zero digit. So there's exactly one number in between this section that has a digit one zero. Similarly, 120, 229, you can see it. There's only one number, which is 120 with one zero digit. And this pattern will continue 130 to 139. It has exactly one number. And it continues till 190 to 199. This also has just one number. 190 which has one digit so if you look at the whole section 100 let me write it down 100 to 199 what we have worked out let's calculate how many numbers were there between 100 and 199 that had exactly one zero digit so there were nine numbers here and you can count how many sections did we make starting from 110 onwards, 120, 130, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 190 onwards. So there are nine groups, and each of these little groups had one, one, one number. So that means there are nine numbers in total. So nine numbers in total here, and nine numbers on the top. So that means in this 100 to 119, there are 18 numbers which have exactly one zero digit. Now this pattern will remain the same as we move up the three digit numbers. So our next group, let me take the same color just to keep the consistency. The next group, 200 to 299, will follow the same pattern. We don't have to make the small groupings. This will also have 18 numbers with exactly one zero digit. And as we move on, this will be the same pattern, 300 to 399, 18 numbers again and this will continue we don't have to write them all down and it will continue till 900 to 999 
and it will have 18 numbers now you can see how many groupings that we made we started 100 onwards 200 onwards 300 onwards and so on and there are nine equal groupings you can count so there are nine groups of 18 numbers so in from from 100 to 999 we have nine groups of 18 and we can do the calculation here 18 groups of 9 or 9 groups of 18 and our answer is 162 so there are 162 numbers which have exactly one zero digit all right laying it out neatly like this make made our job really really easy and easy to understand and work out the calculations all right this is one of my favorite questions on amc uh, uh, interesting question which does require a lot of visualization shapes it requires octahedron and sequences as well so let's read the question a tower is built from exactly 219 equal rods these are the rods they're talking about there are three rods used to make that first triangle so let me rub it out so starting with three rods as a rectangle triangular base which we just saw more rods are added to form a regular octahedron now you can look closely this is the octahedron they're talking about with with this base as one of the faces now look closely to understand the octahedron really really nicely it has triangular faces this is one of the triangular faces connected to it is another triangular face connected to it is another triangular face on the side on the top on the bottom on the side you can see there are all triangular faces so you can imagine it to be let me rub it all out all right so you can imagine it to be a triangular base let me draw it So this octahedron has a triangular base, a triangular top, and all the faces are connected by triangular faces. So if you look closely and count how many rods are needed to make this octahedron, you will see six for the top and bottom and six rods more for all the faces. So it requires 12 sticks to make one octahedron. Now, let's read the re rest of the question. The top face is then the base for the next octahedron. The next octahedron is made on top of this. So this requires 12 sticks. We would think that the next one requires 24. But actually, if you look closely, this is the next octahedron is sitting on the top of the first octahedron. So the base is already made on the first octahedron. They use the first three sticks, the top. So they don't require 12 more sticks. They just require nine more sticks to make the next octahedron. And again, to make the third octahedron on the top, again, they require the same. They don't require another base. They use the same base, three sticks, and they just provide the top structure. That means nine more sticks, and that has the third octahedron. So that requires 30. So, and it keeps going on. They keep adding more sticks on the top, adding nine, nine, nine more, and act adding octahedrons every step of the way so every nine sticks make one more octahedron now our question is how many octahedra are in the tower when it is finished so remember we had 2019 equal rods so let's try to make a sequence so each time we add nine and then we come to 2019 rods but our question is how many octahedrons have we made all along the way so let's have a look closely look we started with 12 sticks we started with 12 sticks and added 19 at we go so that means how many jumps of nines have we made in 2007 sticks we started from 12 so how we in order to calculate how many jumps of nines have we made or how many additions of nine have we made we will take our 2007 and divide it by nine now you can use a bus stop method or because for middle primary calculators are allowed you can use the calculator to find the answer for this calculation and the answer is 200
223. That means 223 jumps or additions of nines have been made. That means starting from the beginning, there have been 223 additions, and we are all, don't have to forget the first term. So that means there have been 224 equal terms. Remember, the first term meant one oc first octahedron. The second term meant two octahedrons, third terms meant three octahedron. So the number of terms refers to the number of octahedrons we have in our sequence. So this is our first octahedron with 12 sticks. So 224 is answer, 223 jumps plus the first one. So we have 224 octahedrons, which will use 2019 sticks. So this is our question number 29. Very interesting. If you can understand octahedrons if you can find the pattern and construct this sequence this is actually very easy but also interesting and yes and this was a fun question to solve let's move to the last question of this paper uh, this is a 10 mark question so supposed to be the hardest question John is one year older than his wife oh my battery is running out John is one year older than his wife Mary. They have three children whose ages are two years apart. So remember, John and Mary are just one year apart. Three children are two, two years apart. The product of John and Mary's age is less than 2019. All right, so we have to find two numbers, two consecutive numbers, which whose product is 2019 and the product of the children's ages is also 2019. And next year, these products will be greater than 2020 so it will be a condition that we'll have to check so let's try to work out different possibilities so this is j for john m for mary now we have to make a product of 2019 now which number should we start with just to have a base idea let's try to think of two numbers which will be around 2000 or 2019 just to have an idea that which number should we work with. So let's have 40 and 40. I know it will not work because they are consecutive numbers, but just to have an idea. So 40 times 40, the product would be 1600. That's too low. We need a product around 2019. So let's try a bigger number, 50 and 50. The product is 2500. That's too high. So, but that guarantees that the ages for John and Mary are somewhere between 40 and 50. That we know for sure because our product is in between these 1600 and 2500 so let me clear this out so the products that we can try are 40 41 41 42 so these are the age uh, ages that you can try for John and Mary and of course you have a calculator allowed so you don't need to do it manually take your calculator try out the products and see which one is the closest to 2019 now I did try I'm not writing all the products but the final age that I found was the closest to 2019 was 44 and 45 1980 and now 1980 now just to verify I will uh, next year the product has to be more than 2020 so I will try next year Mary will be 45 and John would be 46 let's try their product and if it works that would be the ages the a the product is 2070 and yay these ages work so 44 is Mary 45 years old is John and these are the ages that work for the parents now is the time to look for the children's ages let me clear this out Let me write, okay, the ch child one, child two, and child three. Now, because these children are two years apart, actually, we can, this is just a way of trial and error. Because they are three, two years apart, we can try different combination of ages. You can try two, four, six. You can try four, six, eight, but the age is really small. We can try eight, 10, 12. Take your calculator, work it out, this, and work out the three numbers that will be closest to 2019. So we, I tried different combinations, and the combination that worked for the three children's ages is 10, 12, and 14. When you multiply, when you 
when you find the product of these three ages it comes out to be 1680 now it might seem that it's still far away from 2019 but the next one 12 14 and 16 was way higher so we have to stick to 2, 10 12 and 14 so that did not work but just to check let's see if next year their ages would would multiply to get more than 2020 so next year their ages would be 11 13 and 15 and multiply them together it gives the answer 2688 which is way above 2020 so th these these are the ages which work for the children as well so the parents are 44 and 45 and the children are 10 12 and 14 but remember this this is the tricky bit don't just assume think about what are they asking this year what is the sum of the five ages the question is not to find the ages but to find the sum of all the five ages so make sure you're reading the question carefully you add up all the ages 10 12 14 44 45 and it gives 125 and that is the answer and that's the end of our amc 2019 for middle primary i will be uploading more paper soon make sure you're watching all right all right all the best for amc do your best bye bye take care